Hey, what is up guys? This is FNH here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can download your Google Photos locally. Okay, so if you guys have been using Google Photos for a while now, you probably have a lot of pictures automatically saved here. You know, and um, you know, for whatever reason, if you want to just get off of it, maybe privacy reasons or just, you know, you like to have the local file itself. Um, there's two different ways to do it. One would be you can so over here I have opened my Google Photos. I only have one photo here, right? So you can click the photo and then on the top right you can click download. Okay, so obviously um, you can do that, but that is very slow. Like you're gonna have to do one by one or you know you can do only a few by few, but you can't if you have a lot of pictures that will be an issue. Alright. So another way to do it is you want to go to Google account your Google account right so go to my account .google .com, right and then over here you want to go to data and personalization scroll down and you will see that there's a section called download delete or make a plan for your data alright so what you want to do is click download your data alright so that was my latest export I did a couple of days ago so um, ignore you probably won't have that if you've never done this so you'll see this create a new export what you want to do is deselect all and then go scroll down and find Google Photos right here and just select that alright now just go all the way down click next step right and your delivery method um, how you want to do, um, receive it it can be directly to your email as a link to your Google Drive right so you do have to what do you call it? Uh, make sure that your Google Drive has enough space. So if you do have over 15 gig, which is the quota on Google Drive, um, if you have more than 15 gigs in Google Photos, um, this will probably, um, you know, either error out or you know give you a warning that you don't have enough space. So um, for me personally, I think the best option is send a download link via email. All right. So you can click that uh, frequency. Uh, I just do export once. You know, um, obviously, if you want to have it as a uh, recurring thing, you could. But if you're just doing a one-time thing, just click frequency uh, export once only. All right, file type and size. Um, I choose zip, and exports larger than the size will be split into multiple files. So what that means is, so basically, you can see you have a one gig, two, four, ten, fifty. All right. So basically, what that means is if the total amount of your Google Photos is let's say for example it's six let's say it's five gigs okay so it will give you three different download links okay so the first link will have two gig second link will also have a two gig file or a two gig zip file and the third link will have a one gig zip file okay so they will be split into three and then um, obviously you can if you can choose 10 and you wouldn't have that issue it'll just be one 5 gig uh, file zip file but um, you know this there are benefits to doing a 2 gig you know uh, mainly because if you want to transfer from one place to another and you don't have let's say a USB drive that will support that much you can obviously um, it would definitely help if it's lower um, and just you know it, it even if your internet connection is not that great having lower file size um, will make it uh, have will make the download complete uh, before it errors out okay all right so we have that all set up now we will just do create export all right and Right here, you can see export in progress. Google is creating a copy of files from your Google Photos. Uh, this can process, this can take um, you know hours or days to complete. Uh, so yeah, obviously depending on how much photos you have, that's obviously how long it will be. Right. Um, in my case, it I don't have a lot of photos. I literally just have one photo. Um, so I it, it shouldn't really take that long. Um, so last time I tried this, it took like a minute or so, and I don't really want to wait here the whole minute, but let's refresh the page. Maybe it is done. All right, so it's still export in progress. Um, let's do manage. So yeah, um, 
so exports in progress you can see once it is completed you can see the one over here on the bottom I did that the other day and it's available until the 22nd so you don't have it um, unlimited for an unlimited amount of time I should say um, so you do have to make sure to um, you know download as soon as it's completed all right so we it, so it's completed so the one created on March 16th right uh, you can check what things were backed up in it so you, you can see Google Photos so let's download it okay did it download okay yeah right here so now you can see the files down here let's open it and see what's inside so Google photo instant upload th that's just some metadata information um, so I can see two folders here uh, one is that image and one is that image I think they're the same exact image so yeah you can see here this and this so yeah they're the same exact image and I think the reason is doing that is my maybe in my opinion is that I accidentally uploaded this twice at two different times because um, the times of the file were different so at 755.17 uh, actually they're the same so yeah I'm not really sure why I did two um, but it did two obviously if you have a lot of photos it probably won't do that right um, yeah so but basically that's how you pretty much download the um, your Google Photos so if you have a lot of photos it will take a lot longer it wouldn't be as quick as this right um, so yeah um, if you have any questions or comments please leave them down in the description below if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe um, hit that notification bell to stay updated on uh, on my new videos that I make other than that FNH out